Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Live, and welcome back to the channel. In today's Payday 2 video, we're talking about everything new in Updates 203. We've got one DLC pack and some free changes to the Infamy system, not quite as much as we'd usually expect, but some interesting stuff in here nonetheless. It's giving me the impression that Overkill might be going for a more staggered release going down the line since there's no heist in this update, despite Friday's teaser that this whole City of Gold campaign will be starting soon. I've also got four of these DLC codes to give away courtesy of Overkill, so if you'd like to win one of these new DLC packs, just head to the link in the description description and place your entries for the chance to win one. Four people will get a code and the winners will be announced this weekend. So get in, place your entries and may the best heister win. And additionally, I'll be streaming this update live on Twitch in about an hour's time. So if you aren't already following me over at twitch.tv slash live, the link is in the description. Get over there, give me a follow and get ready for me to play this update live on stream. But that's enough for the intro. Let's get right into this video, break down update 203 and talk about everything that it has to offer. So as always, you know the drill. Let's roll the intro. So as I said in the intro, this update is a little bit different than the typical Payday 2 Silk Road ones where normally you get several DLC packs and some free content. This time there is just one DLC pack and as I mentioned some changes to the Infamy 3.0 system which I'll get to in just a bit. First off, let's look at the DLC pack. As always, there is a Steam announcement that's been posted by Overkill which gives us a bit of background to the DLC so let's read that first. We are gearing up for new adventures in 2021 with new heists, guns and much more coming to the game this year and we start off with the weapon and weapon colour pack. Jiu Feng has a shipment of guns coming into port right now and you are the first ones to get the offer. Yes, it does say a new weapon pack and a new weapon colour pack, however, it's just one DLC this time and not two separate ones. It seems as though Overkill won't be making any more DLC packs where there are only weapon colour packs included. Instead, this time they've bundled them in with the guns. So let's break down this smuggler pack they've mentioned. The Jiu Feng smuggler pack contains three new guns. First off, the AK Gen 21 Tactical SMG, then there's the Cross Kill Chunky Compact Pistol, and finally the Moscone 12 Gauge Tactical Shotgun. Also coming with 9 weapon mods to customise the guns with, you'll see a bit of those in the footage of the video, as well as 20 new weapon colours, which I've got footage of here for you now so you can see all 20 of them in action. They seem to have ditched solid colours completely, at least for this pack, which I'm very, very appreciative of, because really they were starting to get a bit old. There are a whole bunch of new patterns here, and genuinely there's some really standout ones here. I'm personally a very big fan of Gem Jungle and 1983, those two stand out a lot to me, but there are other ones I really like as well, like Wallpaper Leaf and Topography. They all look really quite cool, there isn't really any that are very, very very bad. Some are weaker than others, but that's typical for a pack like this. But honestly, for what's included, it's really cool. I like them. And as I've said, these are both in the same DLC pack, this Jiu Feng Smuggler pack, which you can buy on Steam for £2.89, which is about $3.30, $3.40, something like that. So it's a bit more expensive than the typical weapon pack, obviously this time because there's two DLCs in one technically, at least if we're judging it off the way they used to do Silk Road content. But this is the only DLC pack you can buy in this update. There's no bundle because there is only one DLC you can buy, which means there's no new heist, no new tailor pack. I'm guessing, as I've said earlier, that I think they're doing some kind of staggered release here, so that while there might be the same amount of content spread across a 12-month period, it's just split up a bit more, and that way we get updates a bit more frequently, so it's not three or four months between updates, it's maybe one or two. Of course, we won't know this for sure until we get the next update, and we can make predictions as to when the next one will be, but that's the impression I'm getting, as though this time we've got the weapons and the weapon colours, and perhaps in the next update, in one or two months' time, we'll get a heist and maybe a tailor pack with it. But that covers the DLC section of update 203. So now let's talk about the free stuff, the stuff everyone gets when they get into Payday 2. Well, I say everyone, these are infamy rewards, which means you need to be playing Payday 2 a lot to get to these. But as Overkill originally promised, there would be rewards available for infamy tiers 66 to 100, as before this update, you only had rewards up to tier 65, but they haven't given you all the way up to level 100, instead choosing to finish at 81 for this update. We are adding rewards for infamy ranks 66 to 81, and we are also combining some rewards for these ranks. Weapon Colors and Heist joined Stingers will be rewarded together on the same rank, and the suit variants, gloves, and masks will have their own ranks. Among these rewards, four colour variants for a new suit design will be available to unlock. So let's talk about everything that's included, and to break it down simply to begin with, we've got eight new weapon colours, two new gloves, one new suit, two new masks, and eight new join game stingers. Let's start first with the outfit, the Unimatrix, which is much, 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 much better. I don't know how many times I can say much to reinforce my point, but it's so much better than the Infamy leather. Those of you who saw my video about Infamy 3.0 for update 200 will know that I really did not like the new Infamy leather outfit for the Infamy rewards. I think a lot of people disagree with me on this, but I just think it was so bland and boring compared to some of the other outfits we'd had that I just would not wear it once I unlocked it. I'd only be wearing it for bragging rights and not because I liked it. But this suit, as you can see, in my opinion anyway, looks much better. It's sleek, it's smooth, the colour combination's quite nice. The black's a bit boring and I'm not too sure about the brown. I'm personally a massive fan of the white. 
and the red. It could be that the red's giving me slight weekend vibes. That might be part of it. Or if I really want to push it, 12th Doctor vibes. But hey ho, I really like the look of the colours and I think it's a cool outfit. That's the main point. We then have two masks. The Max first off, you can see on screen now, kind of like a futuristic full face helmet. Quite cool like that. It goes quite well with this suit in my opinion, as Overkill demonstrated in this picture. And then we have the Gangster Prankster, seeming to go for another Joker style mask. I reckon this would look quite good with the Joker outfit they released alongside Border Crossing in November 2019. Oh dear lord, Silk Road started well over a year ago. There's also two new pairs of gloves, as I've said. We've got the Highland Wool Combo Gloves, which, eh, they're okay. I'm not a big fan of them. They're all right. And then there's a Silver Champion Gloves, which in my opinion look a lot better. I reckon if you combine this with the white Unimatrix and the Max Mask, you get a really cool Infamy look that looks a lot better than the Infamy leather stuff they were putting out. And then as you can see on screen now, there are also eight new weapon colours. This is quite similar to the weapon colour pack, where there are some really strong designs here, some that aren't quite as good. As I said, that's to be expected. I am personally a biggest fan of both Deco Circuits and Kintsugi. You'll see in a minute I flip between the two because I really like them. I think my favourite's got to be Kintsugi though, just because of the concept of it. For those of you who don't know, it's a Japanese art form. For those of you who don't know what Kintsugi is, quite simply, it's normally about repairing pottery that's been smashed and filling in the cracks with gold, silver, platinum to make it look like it actually has been broken, rather than hiding the damage, showing it off as part of the history of the object. To give it a pop culture reference, for those of you who get it from that point of view, it's what Kylo Ren did in The Rise of Skywalker with his helmet. It's just an art form I'm quite fascinated by and I really like to see it on a gun pattern, so that's just a little bit of a nerdy kind of art form appreciation thing from me. And that's all the stuff in Infamy 3.0. I like that some of the tiers are now going to have two rewards, that's quite nice, because really a join game stinger is cool, but maybe it's not quite enough as a single tier reward, so I'm glad they're dumping in other stuff with it. But obviously this also means Infamy 3.2 will be a thing at some point down the road, and personally, I don't think it'll be the next update. If they really are going for these staggered releases of content now, I reckon next time we'll get the heist and that'll be the big thing, the big update. And then maybe the next update after that, when they maybe go for another weapon pack like they have this time, they'll probably put the Infamy 3.2 stuff in with that. I don't imagine this stuff is quick to develop, in particular the outfit, the masks, those kind of things, probably take some time. And so they're probably going to want a bit of time before they release those. So I wouldn't expect Infamy 3.2 just yet, but hey, it's some more stuff for you to work towards if you haven't already hit those Infamy levels. Finally, to close off the update, they have also revealed some upcoming gameplay changes, or I should really say hinted at them. The post says that they're going to look deeper into the gameplay experience this year, first off by tweaking gunplay a bit, within which they're going to release an open beta soon with a date to be announced in an upcoming announcement. They'll invite all heists to take part in the feedback and you can use all the weapons in the game, including the ones just released in this DLC update. Potentially interesting, not really sure where they're going with that. Maybe they're going to try and vary damage and guns a bit more so there isn't just separate categories of damage and ammo count. Make some more guns unique, that would be quite cool. Either way, when the beta comes out, I'll be interested to see what it is and of course, I'll let you all know when it does begin. But that is update 203. We've got the weapon slash weapon color DLC pack and we've got the Infamy 3.1 system with promise of more content coming down the line. It's not the biggest update Payday's ever had. It's actually one of the smaller ones, but to be fair with the amount in it, it's not a bad update for the first full content drop of 2021. But as always, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What do you think of this DLC and the Infamy 3.1 changes? Let me know all your thoughts and more down in the comment section below. But that brings an end to this video. So as always, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more and if you are new around here feel free to hit that sub button because it's quick it's free and i'll always love you for doing so and you'll be up to date with all future content coming from this channel thanks as always go to my patrons and channel members for supporting me beyond watching my regular content and supporting me financially as always donations on there are never expected but they are greatly greatly appreciated and if you fancy joining in and supporting me that way links to both of those methods are also in the description but that is it i will see you all next time for a brand new video until then look after yourselves stay safe enjoy update 203 and i will see you all in the next video Take it easy.